Hello, I'm Dr. Nikhil Gupta. If you get a thyroid blood work done and your TSH comes back elevated or high, does that mean your thyroid is overactive or underactive? It can be confusing, right? Today, I'm going to explain to you in a simple way how to understand your thyroid symptoms and your thyroid blood tests. There are two main organs which work together to control our thyroid function. The first organ is the thyroid gland which is in the middle of the neck in the front. It makes thyroid hormones also known as T4 and T3 which regulate our body's metabolism. The second organ is the pituitary gland which is a tiny gland located in our brain. It makes a hormone called thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH which circulates in the blood and stimulates the thyroid gland to make thyroid hormone. The hormones from these two glands, that is the TSH from the pituitary gland and thyroid hormones T4 and T3 from the thyroid gland circulate in the blood in a feedback loop and affect the levels of each other. So for example, if the levels of T4 and T3 go down, then there is less feedback that goes to the brain and the TSH level goes up. At the same time, if the thyroid starts making too much thyroid hormone, if T4 and T3 levels go up, then it suppresses the TSH levels coming from the brain. In most cases, your provider screens for thyroid function using the TSH blood test. If the TSH blood test is normal, in most situations, no further evaluation is necessary unless your symptoms or the situation suggests otherwise. Now let's discuss the three most common scenarios of thyroid blood test results. The first scenario is a normal TSH and a normal T4 and T3 level. In that case, your thyroid is functioning normally and no further evaluation is necessary. The second situation is in case of an underactive thyroid, also known as hypothyroidism. In this case, T4 or T3 levels or both will be low and the TSH level will be high. Some of the symptoms of low thyroid are weight gain, low energy, feeling depressed, constipation, etc. In severe cases, it may also result in mental confusion or even a coma, which is very rare. Now, it's important to note that some of the symptoms of an underactive thyroid can be present with a normal thyroid blood test result. In that scenario, other causes of your symptoms may need to be looked into. The third situation is an overactive thyroid, also known as hyperthyroidism or thyrotoxicosis. In this case, the thyroid gland releases or makes too much thyroid hormone, which then goes to the brain and suppresses the production of TSH from the pituitary gland. So your T4 or T3 or both of these levels will be high and the TSH level from the brain will be low. Some of the symptoms of an overactive thyroid are heart racing, anxiety, sweating, weight loss or frequent bowel movements and in some cases a fever may also arise. So let's summarize what we discussed today. If your TSH level is high then your thyroid is underactive and if your TSH level is low, your thyroid is overactive. I recommend that you discuss your test results with your provider because there are some additional scenarios in which your symptoms and test results may need to be evaluated further. If you like this video, please click the like button and share with your friends and family. To continue to watch, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications of our latest videos. Thank you and have a healthy day.